Recently, I was listening to the atheist experience try to explain to a caller how a cat suddenly getting better after people praying for it didn't necessarily mean that the prayer had caused it. I know. During Matt Dillahunty's patient back and forth about coincidence, scientific evidence, and prayer studies, it occurred to me something very obvious was being overlooked. And this is not to say this hasn't occurred to Matt. It may have, but perhaps he was attempting to instill logic from the perspective he felt would be most effective with this caller. That aside, what stood out to me in the debate about prayer was that prayer itself is an unjustifiable decree. Why should there be prayer at all? The illogical nature of religion has so many layers that we wind up debating whether or not something is true instead of pointing out how ridiculous it is in the first place, true or not. This caller on the atheist experience was suspecting that a cat going into sudden remission was an answered prayer, as if God decided to show mercy and grant Fluffy a few more meaningful years of sleeping and chasing string. Meanwhile, we all know children who no amount of prayer kept alive. How ironic that the same people who ask atheists where they get their morality from don't recognize the immorality of prayer. It is a demand for abasement and futile groveling, a command that you plead for help while acknowledging your unworthiness, helplessly ask for your questions to be answered, then live with the resounding silence that will follow. It means nothing more than begging for desperate needs to be met. As a parent, I find this unconscionable, and parenting is relevant here since theists believe God is our Father and we are His children. Looking at it from that perspective, imagine your own parenting. What would your child have to do to get you to meet a need of theirs? Under what circumstance would you see your child hungry, hurt, or even just sad without trying to offer them relief? Could you stand on the other side of a door from your son or daughter and ignore their cries? No. Their pain is your pain. That's love that can't be faked. A love you won't find from any deity overseeing the state of affairs on this planet. And I believe that is because religion is not about love. It's about worship. If anything, religion uses our desire for love the same way it uses fear, as a means to gain our obedience. If you need me to expound on why I view unanswered prayer as immoral, it's because the suffering it causes is 100% avoidable. And before we get caught up in semantics, I consider it immoral to turn a blind eye to suffering. God ignoring prayers is tantamount to that suffering being deliberate. Moreover, it is vain and narcissistic to require such adulation for the mere consideration of any request. I love my son enough to not need anything from him in order to come to his aid. Real parental love is contingent upon nothing, least of all a stroked ego. My son's comfort is payment enough for me. Without his well-being, I cannot rest. I cannot ignore his pain for a minute, much less centuries. Anyone who is worth their salt as a parent should be appalled by God's parenting. I don't understand how all parents are not atheists, or turning their back on the deadbeat dad that is any proposed deity at the very least questioning his existence. It is at this point a theist may assert that God has mysterious ways. I submit parents have no right being mysterious, and your parenting should be stronger than anyone telling you that unanswered prayers are a mystery not to be questioned. That sweep it under the rug mentality should be no match for a parent's love. It's just not good enough. If any of us left our children in the sole care of their siblings, they would be taken away from us, and rightfully so. Whether you pray with rosary beads, bow to the east, dance around a fire, or chant to Buddha, I don't believe an omniscient, omnibenevolent being would expect us to respect his authority without ever showing one single shred of it. So the next time a fundamentalist asks you where you get your morality from, remember prayer and tell them proudly from someone far more compassionate than God.